Good evening, everyone. This is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. Welcome to my monthly Tuesday Techniques class. I'm going to give it a few more seconds for everybody to join me tonight. So while everybody's coming on, I just have a few announcements. Just reminding you that during the month of December, I am offering 20% off on all orders. I do this every year as a thank you to all my customers. And what happens is if you place an order online, I'll mail you a check for the 20% off. So, and no hostess code this month. Starting tomorrow, we are going into our year end closeout sale. So, um, you're going to save on a selection of retiring and surplus products, and these are all while supplies last. So make sure you get on early, and if you have any favorites that are on sale, get them before they run out. Okay, um, I did draw my door prize earlier for November. For December, I'm going to have the Take Your Pick tool. So anyone that places an order with me during the whole month of December, your name will be entered to win this tool. And tonight, the card that I'm making um, was actually a card that was sent to me. And some, when I showed it online on a Facebook post, um, somebody, uh, actually quite a few of you guys, begged me to show you how to do this. So this card was sent to me for Halloween from Wendy Ox. Isn't that pretty? She did the starburst using some designer paper patterns. And I went ahead and created a card that's not Halloween. So this is the one I'm going to show you tonight. So thanks Wendy for, again, for sending me this card during Halloween. And everybody liked it so much that everyone wanted to know how to do this. Now let's go through the supplies I'm using tonight. I'm using Mossy Meadow cardstock for the card base, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Rich Razzleberry, five and a quarter by four. And then the designer paper I'm using on my card is the Frosted Floral designer paper, item number 147800. And the reason it's called frosted, it has like a pearl um, shine to it. All of the layers have pearl on them. So we need three pieces. These are five by two. And then just a little scrap. I didn't um, give you a measurement on that one because it goes right on the end. We're just going to glue that there and then trim it as we go. Next up is Blushing Bride, and that is cut with die number two from the stitch shape, and this is the oval shape. I've gone ahead and cut that ahead of time. A bow made from the shimmer ribbon, or the glitter ribbon. I can't remember what this one's called. And then to do all of the punching, we just need Mossy Meadow Scrap, Mint Macaron Scrap, Soft suede, whisper white for the sentiment. And then I used a few leaves cut out with the vellum cardstock. And before I give you the rest of the supplies, don't forget to share my video tonight so you guys can be entered into a drawing to win this card. For inks, I'm using Rich Razzleberry. I got a lot of punches. I've got the leaf punch, the sprig punch, the Pretty Label Punch, and the Darling Label Punch. And that actually goes with the Darling Label stamp set. Now, this stamp set was in that big metal tin. And what I did is I printed my own um, insert and I put it in a clear case so that I have my own um, packaging for it. Now, I did forget to take out the stamp that I need, and it's the one that says hello. So let me get that situated on a clear block. 
So you guys, we have some new stamps coming in January. They're going to be the cling mount stamps. And I hear that they cling very well using the sticker on the back. So we'll, I don't have any yet, so I'm anxious to try that out. Now the first thing I'm going to do is fold my mossy meadow on the score line. Put this aside. And then I'm going to take all four of my designer paper pieces and I'm going to cut them in half at an angle. So I'm just lining up the little point on my track and the opposite point. And because this is designer paper, it sometimes can rip easily if you start uh, cutting right in the corner. So I'm going to actually place it right in the center and go both ways. That's just a quick way of cutting and not damaging your designer paper. So again, I'm lining it up, putting the blade in the middle. I've got one more to go on the big ones, then we'll have to cut the little one. Whoops, I didn't press hard enough on this one. Let me do that one again. Hold on, I think my finger was in the way, so it didn't cut through. There we go. I need to get my finger out of the way. Okay, now I'm cutting the little tiny piece. So now we have eight pieces of designer paper. And what I'm going to do is flip uh, flip it over so that we're using all eight sides. So you can see here, I don't have one pattern that's the same. So now I'm going to bring in the rich Razzleberry layer. And the way to start this out is to actually start out with a flat edge. And let me find, let me see. I'm not using the same, oh, there it is. Okay, so this one here. So you can see how I've got the flat edge butted against each other. These are going to overlap and we're going to trim that afterwards. So let me add glue to the back. And I'm using liquid glue in case I mess up and I need to pick it up. It's repositionable up to a certain time. So now I'm going to add these side by side and leave about an eighth of an inch in between for spacing. Now I'm going to go ahead and trim these. And then my next pattern, I'm going to pretty much follow the card. So now I'm going to add this one. So you can see it's a far stretch from the edge to the corner. So that's why it's good to have the designer paper a little bit longer. So again, we're going to leave about an eighth of an inch. Make sure the corner is covered. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other end. Okay, Nancy, you're asking about the measurements. Um, these rectangular pieces were five by two. And once the video is done, I always go back and add the measurements so you guys will have them. And then the little piece, if you tuned in late, this little piece was just a scrap. There's really no measurement, and you'll understand why when I um, glue it in place. Okay, so we got four pieces in there, so let me go ahead and trim. So if you have a lot of designer paper pieces, this is a good way to use up your designer paper. We seem to be on a kick to use up our designer paper lately. Okay, now I'm going to bring in the striped one. I'm only adding glue in the middle because I'm actually not going to use a lot of this piece. 
So you could actually cut some of these smaller, but I rather have a little bit of extra to play with in case you do have to move it. Now, I don't like the spacing on this one. I need to add that a little bit closer. And then I'm going to glue number six. Whoops, I got glue on my finger. There we go. Do you guys get glue on your finger when you use the green glue? It just seems to go everywhere, doesn't it? Especially if you have to reposition your items, your layers. Okay, so look at that. We got six pieces already. You actually could use some of these, but I wanted different patterns on each side. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the corner. Put this one in place. And last one is the one with the little flowers on it. Okay, now let's trim the last two. So you see how quickly I did that by cutting the rectangular shapes first, then cutting diagonally. Now let's glue this to the front. I got pieces everywhere over here. And this goes right to the front. And what I did is I coordinated all of the colors that are in the designer paper. Now I'm going to glue the oval in on the bottom. And you could put this anywhere you want, but I like the way Wendy had her card. Um, it was almost tucked in on the bottom. Next, we're going to stamp with the rich Razzleberry ink. And that's just a little hello. And the punch we're going to use is the Darling Label Punch. Now let me go ahead and cut all of my other pieces. I have the Mossy Meadow is with the Pretty Label Punch. The Leaf Punch, I need two with the Mint Macaron. And two with the vellum. And the last one is the sprig punch with the soft suede. And you can see that I'm using my scraps. So we've got two of each. And how I did this is I glued the sentiment layer with dimensionals. I just added two right in the center vertically. I'm, oops, wait a minute, I need to add my pretty label punch first. So that goes right in the center. Then the sentiment layer. So it would be pretty just this way, and that's crooked, hold on. It would be pretty just this way, but I thought it needed something else. So that's why I added a whole bunch of sprigs and leaves. So I'm going to press the sprigs in place first, tuck it, it, tucking it under the hello. Aren't these cute for reindeer antlers? If you guys are into punch art, this is perfect for the reindeer antlers. Okay, so there's those two. Next, I'm going to add the mint macaron leaves. And here's number two, if I can get some glue on there. Now I'm going to make this leaf overlap on the sentiment a little bit. And next I've got my two vellum leaves. 
I'm going to need a new bottle of glue pretty soon. Okay, there's one vellum leaf. And as I'm doing this, I'm looking for my bow. Come on, I just need one more. There we go. Okay, this one's going to be tucked in right there. So see how cute that is just by adding all of the leaves and sprigs. It really dresses it up. So lastly, I'm going to glue the bow in place with a mini glue dot. And then just a little dot of the liquid glue. And that's going to be tucked in right here. So there you go. That's my Starburst card. So don't forget to share. I'll draw a winner sometime tomorrow. I usually try to do it early in the morning, but sometimes I don't get around to it if I'm busy. Um, oh, I wanted to show you guys a couple cards that I received. It was my birthday last week. And... This is one of my team girls. She's on my Stampin' Ink Designs team. This is from Rebecca Bullock. I love the way she did her background. And this was the little panda from last year's celebration set. This is from Gloria Powers. She's also on my Stampin' Ink Designs team. I love the way she did the little window with her dies. This one is from Lorna Cayley. She's a customer of mine. And it's, it's really nice of her to do this because she's been uh, bedridden for a while and she thought of me on my birthday and sent me a birthday card. And my last one is from Wendy. Again, the same Wendy that sent me the Halloween card. I was so surprised to get this. I love her sunflower. So I just thought I'd squeeze those in while, while I had you guys on live. So what's up next is my Sunday share on Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Because um, remember, I goofed this past Sunday and I did my Step It Up Sunday by mistake. So I hope to see you guys um, on Sunday. I'll be back live. Thanks for joining me. And don't forget to share if you want a chance to win my card for tonight. Thanks so much for joining me, everyone. Have a good night.